Let's now have a quick look at the subsequent measurement of the right to use asset. If you remember the right to use asset initially is whatever the liability was, add on any lease payments before, take off lease uh, incentives received, add on the initial di add direct costs and dismantling costs. Well now we're looking at subsequent measurement. Now what we need to look at here is subsequently then um, we should use the cost model and then take off depreciation. But have a look here. If it's three years and four years, so it's a three-year lease and a four-year useful economic life, how long would you depreciate it over three years? Okay, because that's how long your lease is. But then compare that to the next one where it says it's a three-year lease but a two-year useful economic life. Well, that you would do over two years because... Even though the lease is for three years, your asset's not. Your asset will have died by two years, so you'd only use two years there. So it's always the lower of the lease and the useful economic life. Now, what if the lease is for investment property? If you remember, investment property, you have a choice. You can either use the cost model or the fair value model. So let's say that you're using the cost model for investment property, and then you lease an investment property. Well, in that case, you must use the cost model. So what I'm saying is, if this is your policy the, for investment property is cost, and you lease an investment property, you must use, for the right to use asset, the cost. If, however, when you normally have investment property, you use the fair value model, and then you lease an investment property, then you've also got to use the fair value model for the lease. So this is, those two there, the musts are for the lease. So how, how would you value your right to use assets for an investment property lease? Well, if your policy for investment properties is cost, then your right to use asset must be at cost. If your investment policy, investment property policy is fair value, then your right to use asset must be fair value. Now, PPE is another one, isn't it? PPE, you also have um, cost or revaluation. So let's say that your policy for PPE is cost and you get a lease for some PPE, then therefore that right to use asset must also be valued at cost. Now, if your um, policy for PPE is to revalue them and then you, PPE that is, and then you get... Uh, a lease for some PPE, this time you get a choice. You don't have to, even though your policy is to revalue, if it's a lease for a PPE, you have a choice on a class-by-class -class basis whether to put it to cost or whether to revalue it.